Aishi and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in my today's video, I am going to talk about some style tips which are going to help you elevate your style and make you look stylish every day. You are going to feel so much more confident and it's going to appear that you spend so much of money on your outfits, you plan your outfits so well. Whereas it just requires a little bit of a minimum effort. So I make so many of these style videos. So if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of my upcoming style videos, then please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of my videos. So let's get right into the video. So my first tip is going to be planning your outfits. Now planning your outfits does not really mean that you need to make a whole entire copy or book or you need to sit with a pen down so that you can plan your outfits. Planning your outfits simply means to know which color suit you or which outfit suit your body and which will go with what you have in your wardrobe which you can wear together which will really make you feel confident and will make you look so much more stylish just like you plan your outfits for marriages and freshers and some kind of events likewise you can also plan some outfits for your everyday look some go-to jeans some go-to t-shirts and some things which you know which you have in your wardrobe which you can pair like you have a and you have b and you know that you can pair them together so that they create a nice look so that is going to really help you so plan your outfit so that you just don't draw or pick out the first thing you see in your wardrobe and then you look like a total mess that I have for you guys is creating a lookbook so often it happens I don't know with me or with all of the people that what you have in your head does not really look so nice when you are trying it practically so sometimes what happens is that even when you are combining A with B together it does not necessarily look so good as you imagined it in your head to be and that is just what is reality it may be disappointing but this is the truth like it's not only with clothes but with so many other things like you have something in your head and it just not goes that way so even if you have planned your outfits i want you guys to try it out and like wear it and see if it really looks nice together if it's really going together if the components and the colors are looking nice on you if it's flattering your body and create a lookbook like that creating a lookbook like that saves you from occasion where you are all confused like what to wear what would look nice what you really need to wear i don't have anything to wear so for all these situations if you already have in your mind what you want to wear and you are absolutely sure that it's going to look nice on you then you are going to look good any day you wear it tip number three is going to be investing in good basics now if you guys want i can make a whole entire video on basics which are going to be your black t-shirt your white t-shirt a white button down shirt now basically basics mean pieces which you can style them in so many different ways like you can have a peplum top a sheer top a ruffled top but having a black basic top and having a black basic jeans is so important now there are so many varieties of anything and everything in this world but having Having that basic thing which you know can pair with almost everything in your wardrobe are called as the basic pieces, your staples, your key pieces. So having and investing in good pieces like which are going to be basics which not only serves you for a longer period of time but goes with everything is really important. Now a lot of it depends upon your personality and how you like to dress. Now for me it would be a black or a blue denim jeans but for someone who likes to wear traditional or Indian they may find a palazzo in black or white their go-to or staple pieces. So basics again differ but some of the basic pieces are always is going to be same like having a jeans having a t-shirt having a white shirt which everybody will find useful so having those key pieces which you know will go with most of the items in your outfit is again a really big necessity now talking about basics my fourth tip is going to be knowing about the trends now there are always trends coming and going like sometimes they stay yearly sometimes it depends upon the season there are some shoes and some bags and some clothes which you will see trending and everybody is wearing those so those are the current pieces which are trending now knowing what's going in the trend is really important because anybody who is stylish is always aware of what is going on with the trends but incorporating that trend in your dressing style in a way you would be comfortable is really really important like mostly neon jackets and neon bodycon dresses were like trending so much but if you are not really into dresses and jackets then you can have neon in your kurtis or some other kind of dresses which you really like to wear depending upon your fashion and style so now what's going on in the trends a stylish person is always aware about the trends that are going on but try to incorporate in a way that you find it comfortable to wear around and you don't really feel odd in it 
and again talking about trends my fifth tip is going to be mixing low and high key pieces now what i mean by this is that suppose you have a zara jacket which is really beautiful and it's very costly and it's one of the most costly things you have so that is your high key piece now you can style it with a basic jeans i think a basic jeans goes with everything so you can style that high end piece with this low key piece and together they create such a nice look so that is what is known as the mixing high and low pieces together and it does not always have to be a costly outfit with a cheaper one it could be also something which is going on in the trend like as i said with the neon one suppose your high key piece is this neon top which is going on everywhere it's really trending so you can pay, you can pair it up with a basic jeans or a basic skirt and that is what you do when you are mixing high end pieces and low end pieces together because for me stylish person is the one who like knows how to stand out of the box and how to come up with new combinations and wear their outfits in a way other people are not wearing and know how to style trends and know how to style pieces together so that it creates a phenomenal look so my sixth tip is going to be knowing your body type now i am going to make a whole entire video on body types i wanted to make it for such a long period of time and it's finally coming next week subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so that you do not miss out on that i am going to talk about pear shaped bodies and straight rectangular box type bodies like all the kind of body types so that you guys find it really helpful so that you guys can style or plan your outfits accordingly so knowing your body type is really important because if i am someone who has broad shoulders then i cannot wear something which is broader on the shoulder or puffed sleeves because they are going to make my shoulders look more broader and if i have a little bit of tummy then i need to make sure that i am wearing dresses which do not highlight that part of my body especially when you know which will not look good on you you are aware of it then you need to do something about it you just cannot be like that okay i'll just manage it because for managing also you need to put a little bit of effort so knowing your body type and dressing accordingly is really really important so make sure you know your body type so that you can find pieces you can find dresses which look phenomenal on you which look look good on you because everybody has a different body type so what's looking good on them may not look good on you but what's looking good on you may not look good on them so know your body type and i am sure once you know it you can dress accordingly and you are going to look stylish every day so my next tip is going to be seaming your dresses or tailoring your dresses so whenever you are tailoring your dresses it makes it look more customized like it's made just for you and even if you know your body type there could be some pieces which you like and you still want to invest and buy that piece so what you can do is that you can tailor it or seam it down according to your body proportions according to the way it would look or flatter your body type and that is how tailoring or seaming really helps you to make you look stylish now if you're a petite person and you find a jeans and you really like the color of it but it's going to be lengthy on you then what you can do is that you can get the jeans but you can alter it so that it like goes up to your ankle or the length you want to so that it just really flatters your body more it looks more nice on your body so that is when tailoring comes really handy so for some people maybe tailoring may seem like a little bit of investment but if you can look up on youtube then a simple hand saving and stitching is really important and i don't really think tailoring costs much more than your actual dress would cost so if it's going to make you look a little bit more nicer and you already have it in your wardrobe then why not tailor it so that it suits your body more perfectly tip that i have for you guys is knowing your signature style now when you know your signature style when you know the kind of outfits you like to wear when you know what is your personal style when you know what kind of outfits you like to wear what you are confident in and what actually looks good on your body you will know what your signature style is for some people as i said it could be a kurti or a palazzo for some people it could be a summery flowy dress for some people it could be skirts it could be shorts for some people it could be denim and a white shirt so it all depends on what you are really comfortable in and it could also be an all black monochromatic outfit and all black for people who really like to wear dark colors and black colors so it all depends upon your personality so knowing your personality helps you in setting your signature style i cannot tell you what your signature style is unless i know a little bit about your personality and what dresses you are comfortable in knowing your personality helps you know your signature style and you are more confident and once you are more confident it somehow showcases through your 
your personality and the way you walk and the way you dress and somehow it makes you look more stylish because a confident person is always going to appear more stylish so I think having or knowing a signature style is also a very important key point to look stylish every day also I have a video on like you know seven ways on how you can dress under five minutes so if you guys are interested in that I will leave it on the i button up here and also in the description box so guys if you want a more detailed information on how you can find your signature style or your personal style then comment down below I would love to make a video on that so if you guys found this helpful then do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel it really helps my channel to grow it kind of supports my channel and it means a lot to me and you guys can also follow me on my Instagram I am very active there and I share a lot on my stories and my daily updates Also guys, if you found this helpful, then please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me and it shows that you guys are enjoying this type of content and it kind of supports my channel. And you guys can also follow me on my Instagram. My social handle will be linked down below. So I post new videos on Monday and Friday. So I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.